Good morning. This is a Scrap Your Stash Wednesday. Um, so I'm doing the card. And let me grab my trimmer. So that's where we're going to start. So there are a couple things I'm going to be featuring in this. And they're new. So this is the stamp of the month. i raise my light a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay, so there's the stamp of the month. Uh, the only thing I'm going to be using is this Just Keep Smiling. And I'm using the You Are Enough Thin Cuts, the Butterflies here. And I'm going to see if I'm going to use this. I don't, I'm not so sure. I have this shape cut out and um, just this butterfly. This is a stamp only. So you cut this in one color and then you can stamp it with a different color on top. And it gives you kind of the same effect of what I have for the thin cuts. Uh, it's a little bit different though. So that's what I'm going to be doing for my scraps of Daisy. This is going to be my main background. Put my stamps aside. I have, I'm using julep or spruced up. So I've been cutting that up for some uh, cards for kindness stuff. And then I have julep. Then I have a zip strip from, from spruced up, New England ivy. And this is the paper from spruced up. But I think I'm going to use this side. So the other thing that this is going to be doing is um, enter a card kamikaze and it is green and happy mail are my, my two things that I got to keep in mind so that's what we're going to be working on today. So the other thing that I'm using if you haven't seen it yet is make it from your heart number five. And we're going to be doing pattern 23, and I'll show you that too. So pattern 23 out of that is really easy. It's just th six strips at half inch by two and a half inch. And you layer them up, and then you can put whatever else down here. So it's really almost a cast card. A lot of these cards in this um, new book it, are cast cards, which is a clean and simple card. So we're going to go ahead and trim this down to fit the border. So I'm going to do five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay. Let me grab a card. So I want to make sure I want to do it this way and not leave a little smidge of white at the top. I don't, I'm not quite so sure if I want to or not. This is going to be the next one I cut. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it as the full background. So we'll, we'll do five and a half by four and a quarter there. Then we're going to trim this down to four on this side and five and a quarter on the other. So just a quarter inch. This must have been cut for a previous card. Okay. So there's that. Then I don't need julep anymore. And if you don't know, julep was last year's color. It's 2020's color. Okay, this one is going to be two and a half by half. It's already half, so I just need two of these at two and a half. And if you aren't part of uh, Bring Smiles to Seniors or some kind of um, card organization, then I highly suggest it. They're a lot of fun, uh, very rewarding. We also have um, we also have some cards that are coming up for Fourth uh, of July for the leukemia stuff, it, and that's through Jenny's Hope. And if you guys don't know about Jenny's Hope, I'll, I'll post a link again. It's a great organization to really just bring happiness to, let's see here, to leukemia patients and nurses, doctors, um, the healthcare workers involved in leukemia. 
bring them some hope. It's really what it is. And they they also get lots of people on the bone marrow registry, which is really beneficial as well. Okay, so I have all these cut out, two and a half by half. This should go pretty quickly. I'm gonna leave my card aside and I'm gonna just work on let's work on this part first. Okay. So it's just a matter of how I want to layer it. I want this New England ivy in the middle just to give some separation between these two, and you're just gonna layer them halfway in between. So it becomes an inch and a half strip. I guess an inch strip. So there's two quarters and a half. So it's only an inch. I think that looks pretty good. I might want to use, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use the light side or the dark side. Probably the light side of New England Ivy. It gives it a little bit more contrast, I think. So for once, I'll be using the light side. And we can also keep that there and then just play around with the layers, right? And I kind of like that better. So let's do it that way. So this first one, get my Tombow. This first one is going to be half an inch from the top. Now I'm going to use this because I need to make sure that I get keep it fairly in the center. So I'm going to bring it in three quarters of an inch on either side from the edges and then half an inch down from the top. Okay, and then let's do the light side of the New England Ivy. Once I got that lined up, then this other portion is going to be easy, right? Just line it up and tape it on. Again, halfway down on the New England Ivy strip. There's my cute little boundary there. Now I'm going to come up. So the design says come up two and a half from the bottom. Okay, so, but I think I'm gonna just leave, I need to leave probably half an inch in between for this stamp. So let's see, and it looks like on the drawing it's about half an inch in between for a sentiment or whatever you'd like in there. On both our examples, they have the sentiment in the middle. So here's the stamp I'll be using, the sentiment, and that's like perfectly half inch. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay this down and put it on a block so that it is ready to go. Oops, wrong side of the block. If you don't know, there's a right side and a wrong side to the blocks. The one that you put the stamp on has really sharp edges over on this side. I don't know if you can really see that. See how this is curved? This is sharp. And I like to have my fingers on these little divots here. So I always keep those up and down because that's how I stamp. But you de you determine what you want to do. So I'm going to keep this card where it is and I'm going to... So I got to layer it the opposite way. Right? So... I want half an inch there. Let's just see where that brings us because I'm not really following their directions to a T. Hopefully that doesn't surprise you. I just want to see where it's going to end up.
I think it's going to end up here. So this is this is about an inch thick, right? Turned out to be an inch thick. So I'm going to start down here. Now, if you're really wanting to be specific, you can put a ruler on this. Some rulers. Um, you can even get a T-square if you really like. And put it on the edge of your mat. I've seen that used. Just kind of a cool idea. Okay, so light side showing. I have to think twice about that one. And that's about half an inch in the center. So it's clean and simple. Clean and simple is like, you get like 75% of the area is uh, the same background or white really is all it is. That's all it really means. Not a whole lot of design on it. And so a lot of the time you see like quarters done so they'll do like you know this quarter and that quarter or they'll do this quarter and this quarter or these two quarters and then leave the rest blank so I guess that's 50% but um, so make sure you season your stamps I haven't used this one yet and I think I'm gonna use it in evergreen or not evergreen I'm gonna be. evergreen is not in this this color scheme here for the paper but New England Ivy is just keep smiling okay. it's pretty cute now I'm gonna get sangria because sangria is the the red in here It's a really deep, like, wine color. Love it. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Don't need the Just Keep Smiling anymore. But I am going to grab the stamp from the You Are Enough stamp set. If you haven't seen this collection yet, go check it out. It is spectacular amazing. The paper in it, it has the gold foil and it's just amazing. Same with the coordinating cardstock. Coordinating cardstock has gold foil in it as well in half of the pages. I don't know if you guys remember Happiest Place. It's kind of like that except for that was silver foil. This one uses gold. It's really, really, really pretty. So this is too big for 2x2 two two, so let's use a 3x3. Three three. I'm going to put this to the side. And I think these are geometric shapes, so they should all be they should all be even, but let's just make sure. Yeah, it looks like they all are. Looks symmetrical to me. Okay, so again, season it. I haven't used much from this. I've used the the words from this collection, which is beautiful, strong, brave, wonderful, and then the, the little you are. Gave that to a friend for their birthday. And I just want to see how this is going to look. I may or may not use this. We will see. But it's a fun geometrical shape. You just have to be careful because it's not a solid stamp, so it's it's like a wreath one where it's just a circle and it's hollow in the middle. So my experience, they um, they can rip easier, so you just gotta gotta be gentle with them. So I'm thinking about putting it down in this quadrant, but we'll see. It's pretty big, it takes up a lot of room, 
And I could have put from the, that same stamp set, there's a sentiment that says, you shine. Let's see if we can find that. So it says, you shine. That would have been pretty too, as the sentiment in on this card, but we're gonna keep it happy with keep smiling. Now I have the butterflies from the URNF as well. I really like this butterfly cutout. That's just so pretty. So this is julep and evergreen. And what I was thinking about doing was something like that, but um, let's see how it looks without. I might do it just without and put some gems around it. I think that looks pretty. So we're going to leave that over there. I'll use it on something else. Sangria is a coordinating color for the URNF bundle, so I can always use it in that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take actually my, my liquid glue. And I'm going to do the fine tip applicator one, the side, or the pen tip, I guess that's what it's called. And let's, let's not do it on my cushion. And I'm only going to do the middle of the body. And this way it'll stick up on the edges or I can fold it up a little bit and I'll be really, really cute. Not that it isn't cute already, right? Who doesn't like butterflies? The kids go wild for them. We get little white ones all summer long and they chase them all around the yard. In fact, my two-year-old, when he was one, so last summer, that's all he ever did. <laughs> he just wanted to chase the butterflies and he'd go running. So cute. Okay. And I'm going to pop this up with 3D. Foam tape, wherever it may be. Oh, I may have used up all my current scraps of 3D foam tape from the center of the uh, the center of the shakers. Crazy. Not used to doing that. Not used to catching up on that part. And I'm going to put one down here, so it's going to be a thin, thin one. That's just so that it sticks, but it, and it doesn't cave it in, really. You don't want it to cave in. And maybe actually just little itty bitty chunks on the other side, too. Maybe I'll have it this way. And keep in mind, you don't have to undo the backing of this on all of them. So you can cut them up and put them where you want, but you don't have to undo the backing. I typically do just because I get going and then I'm like, I forget what I'm doing. And I just take the backing off of everything. But if you get annoyed with the backing, you can take it off of a select few and it'll stick just fine. It's just to prevent it from squishing. That's all it is. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and glue this on to the backing here and I'm going to be using the dark side of Julep so let's go ahead and take this in my tape runner on to card unfolded usually and then we'll decorate it yay 
Another pretty simple card. Like I said, the ones in Volume 5 are, um, a lot of them are cast cards. They're very simple, uh, very easy to do. Let's do it this way so I can line up the edges this way. Okay, there's my card. So, um, so far, let's, let's go ahead and gem it up. So, I have a couple different gems. These are dual up gems from last year, so we could do that. Good morning for those who are joining me. And you could, what you want to do is you want to keep your eye moving from side to side. And it achieves that by going this way and this way. But I think I'm going to keep these little gems around the butterfly. Maybe a big one over here. And a couple little ones. Maybe up in here in a triangle of sorts. Okay, so there it is. Pretty simple. I usually do an odd number, but there's an odd number here and an odd number there. Different colors. I think it achieves what I want. So thanks for joining me, and we will see you on Saturday for the Scrap My Sash uh, for the scrapbook. Continue on that journey, huh? All right, thanks. Bye.